teach you how to make this ripped poster effect on affinity photo let's get started so the first uh, step in the process is to create a document uh, for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to create a document uh, that is a 3000 pixel by 3000 pixel square uh, which is ideal for social uh, media platforms like instagram uh, so i've already created one here as you can see this is a blank document i've just got my basic details on there and uh, as a cheap plug i'm just going to say you can follow me on twitter and instagram using uh, the handles and also support uh, the channel on buy me a coffee uh, using this link here okay uh, so the next step in this process is to create a background uh, so you have to create a, a rectangle uh, with a white background ideally so to do that you can all, uh, just click on the rectangle tool or press the U button on the keyboard. Uh, you will get the options here. So the fill is going to be white. The stroke is going to be blank. You can select a blank stroke here. Okay. And just draw a rectangle or a square basically of white color. I've created it, but obviously you can't see it here because by default, the background is white uh, and I've created a white square, but just in case it's a good practice to just create a background okay uh, so next thing the next thing you want to do is to bring in a tone paper texture now this is the one i'm going to use and i will link uh, you this file in the uh, in the video description so you can download the same for your project but a quick google search will give you this uh, sort of ripped uh, paper texture Okay, uh, now for for this ripped paper texture, we also need a subject. So I went on to Google to one of the royalty free image websites and I downloaded this image. Okay, so we have here a subject. She is holding uh, lights in her hands. The colors are quite vibrant. You can have yellows here. You have purples, blues, right? And slight uh, the skin shade as well of course it doesn't matter but uh, you know when you have good colors uh, in us in your subject uh, the effect just pops right now uh, what we need to do next is to duplicate this uh, layer so command j on the keyboard will duplicate the layer now take a copy and place it below the tone paper okay and we are not going to touch it right now the next thing you want to do is click on the tone paper layer to make it active press the command or control key on your keyboard and click on the thumbnail okay so what this does is it creates a selection of the shape that is there in the tone paper layer okay so this is basically tracing out the shape and it's created a selection of that shape okay so uh, the next thing that we want to do is to click on the top layer okay uh, make it active and then click on the mask the mask layer option okay so what this has done is it has masked only this selection okay uh, in the top layer right so in a second you'll see why we have done this so now press the command or control uh, key on the keyboard plus d to deselect and you'll see this sort of effect is already come in now click on the top layer again to make it active click on the adjustment and under the black and white uh, click on default okay so this is going to convert the whole image to black and white you can tweak uh, certain settings here if you want to uh, I'm just going to leave it default and once you're happy just click on this close button so this will apply uh, the effect the second effect that you want to add to the document is under the levels. So under the levels uh, tab, just click on the levels tab and click on default again. Right. And here you can make a few minor tweaks as well if you want to. So I'm just going to tweak it a little bit. Okay. It This, this part of the tutorial is completely up to you. If you don't want to change anything, you want to leave it as it is. You're free to do so as well. Okay. Uh, once you're satisfied just press the close button and the effect is applied now go back to the layers tab 
and you will see that uh, these two adjustments that's a black and white and levels adjustment uh, is applied across the document but I just want it applied to this layer okay so how do I do that uh, to do that click on first the black and white adjustment right click and click on the mask to below option so now this effect is confined to just your top layer uh, do the same thing with the level adjustment now before you do that uh, if you feel that you want the level adjustment to be applied to this layer right or the simple thing is just make the level adjustment active command or control plus J to duplicate and just drag one version about this okay now go back to the initial level adjustment right click and mask to below so uh, your top layer has now got the black and white as well as the level adjustment okay now uh, do the same thing for the bottom just uh, click on the level adjustment right click mask to below and this will be applied to the bottom layer okay you can see now that uh, the ripped effect uh, has come in uh, we just have to tweak certain aspects here so what I'm gonna do is dis disable this and show you okay so click on the tone paper layer okay go on the effects tab and just click on the outer shadow effect okay we're going to give this a shadow just to add a, a bit of depth okay uh, you can tweak this to what you want you can change the angle okay so if you want uh, the shadow to come from here the bottom you can do that just change the angle and play around with the angle until you're happy with the result and once you're happy with the result uh, you're done you can now export this and share it on your social media website uh, websites your profiles add it to your portfolio whatever it's a cool effect that you can experiment with and if you do try it out uh, feel free to dm uh, me on my social handles i'll be linking them in the uh, the project description as well and if you like these tutorials and you want to support the work the channel does i will link the uh, bmc link as well in the video description you can uh, go over there and you know support the page in whatever way you can so this is uh, how you create a ripped paper poster on affinity photo and until the next tutorial this is sketch signing off